So our next guest is known as the worth the wait guy. And we're gonna find out exactly if he's worth the wait, which I think he is, because he's a man who has dedicated much of his morals to something that is very hard to resist for most of us. And we're gonna talk about that right now. Please put your hands together for Jim Dre Westbrook. Come on. Everybody. So you're a virgin. Yes, sir. So you're over 30 years old. Yes, sir. Born again or straight? Straight. No born again. Uh, this is something that uh, I've been doing for a while, uh, 31 years. Uh, it's something that uh, at the age of 14 I actually said this is what I wanted to do. This is how I wanted to live my life. I uh, didn't think it would take this long. Uh, however, but, you stuck to it, but I stuck to it. And it's something uh, I really, really believe there. Because that was, that was it. Working out, I was like, I hope I get laid. I hope I get laid. And then it just didn't happen for years. But it's, you know, it's interesting. And when you think you control your life, it goes better. Yes, yes, yes. A lot safer, uh, a lot healthier. And uh, yeah, I feel good about it. Okay. Um, well, so what's interesting about, about being somebody who has like the ability to avoid sex for so long is, does it also come with like a complete conquering of willpower? Like, I mean, do you have any trouble going to the gym, like eating healthy, paying taxes? Is, is all that stuff just handled in your brain? Um, it's great practice when it comes to uh, learning how to control myself, uh, control my thoughts. Uh, it definitely translates into other areas of my life. Like you said, I'm able to go to the gym on a consistent basis, eat healthy, uh, just do the things I want to do in my life. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've been blessed with supreme willpower because this is something that I can't do on my own. Uh, God is definitely uh, in my life in every aspect. And uh, willpower, uh, you know, I've been blessed to to say no and to stand my ground. <laughs> Oh, yeah, throw anything in there. It's all good, but, uh, but yeah, it's definitely. Okay, uh, well, so, you know, as somebody who doesn't always have the kind of willpower that I wish I did, like, is there any tips, especially a lot of entrepreneurs downtown, like, when there's always that temptation to sit down and not do work or hop on YouTube, like, what, what are some tips you have to help us actually be, I don't know, top of the person we want to be inside? I think um, one of the first things is knowing yourself. Uh, you don't have to know everything about yourself, but you have to have some type of game plan and understand your work. So for me, uh, I think understanding that, you know, I am an entrepreneur, I am a businessman, uh, I am a 30-year-old virgin, someone who lives a certain way, I don't veer off from that. Uh, no, I'm not perfect, but then again, I do know what I want to do in life. So I think if you have a plan, if you want to, uh, if you know exactly what you want to do, you kind of have to write that down. And but you're not perfect. Oh, no, <laughs> no one's perfect. Tell me, tell, me, tell me about a mistake you had, just so I feel better about myself. A, a mistake? Um, like, there's got to be something. You're not well, I, I can tell you today, today I didn't go to the gym. Nice. So, <laughs> you know. I definitely skipped today uh, and I feel, feel a little bad about it. Yeah, yeah, you show it to my life. Yeah. I feel bad about it all the time now, but you just eat it off with a burrito or yeah. watch some YouTube and whatever. You know, it's one of starts. Okay, well, I want to tell you a little bit about this vlog because okay. um, you said at 30 years old, your brain sort of. This is stuff, well, this stuff in your head, and I want to hear more about it. Yes, uh, so when I turned 30, I wanted to do something memorable. And I felt that uh, I'm not a partner, so I wasn't going to go to the nightclub or, you know, pop bottles and you know, all that kind of thing. So I, uh, I put my cool nerd hat on, if you will, and I created a blog called WorthTheWayGuy.com. And with that, I wanted to show the world that it's cool and okay to live life at your own pace. And for me, that pace was being a 30-year-old virgin. I felt that in doing that, the statement wasn't that I'm living a perfect life or that my way is the way to live. It right. was just an example to show everyone this is how I live my life at my own pace. And I feel that life is a lot happier if 
everyone could do exactly that. What they want to do, what makes them happier. Yeah, I will tell you, one of the things that really, I thought made you an interesting guest on the show is originally when I heard your story, and I'll just kind of be frank about it, but the first thing I thought was like, mm, guy's probably pretentious. Like, I was like, thinking like, you know, I was, I was, I was like, cause you know, he's doing a thing, none of us can, and he's probably gonna judge me for being an alcoholic, sex addict. You know, but, but, um, but then, but, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> cheers? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Well, I'm moving to um, but anyways, but the, but the, but the, really, when you dig under it a little bit, what I find really inspiring is that the message seems to be just be yourself, and the world has like these ways to conform, really, and you've made like your own decision. Whether that's like an entrepreneur or that's somebody who maybe wants to like drag like the, the people before, like it seems that that's kind of the message. I mean, is that? How you see the blog? Or? Yes, uh, most definitely. Um, my primary message with Work The Way God is live at your own pace. I feel that if we do that in life, like I said, people will be happier, they'll feel better about themselves, and they'll be able to contribute to society. Um, with WorkTheWayGod.com, I'm able to talk about my story, talk how my parents are college professors and how they live a traditional life. But at me, when I was 16, I said I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So that was something that they really didn't like. Uh, it was something that they wanted right, me to. Right, fit their box for you. Yeah. yeah, you know, they wanted me to be uh, more, uh, to go down that traditional path, uh, be a doctor, be a lawyer, you know, get benefits, that type of thing. So with me, I've always kind of knew myself and said, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to jump out there and see life and make a lot of things happen. So um, with the blog, it's kind of my story, but then it also, I wanted to inspire other people to chase their dreams because I feel once you start chasing your dreams and really start discovering who you are in life, yeah. there's so much more to just living life yeah. every single day. Yeah. Really get out there and live that one day. So that's the message. Okay, so, so let's say everything works out for you. Yes. Uh, you know, whether it's just randomness or God, but it all comes together and you get what, like, what you hope to achieve. In 20 years, what does that look like? What does this blog mean to people? I think in or is it still a blog, whatever? whatever. I think um, with Work the Way Guy, uh, there's definitely some longevity. Um, I feel that within 20 years, I'll probably have a family. I'll probably uh, be doing a lot of other things. Uh, I'm big into helping people. Like I said, my parents are professors, my aunts, uh, retired third grade teachers, so helping people is in my blood. So I think- that makes you feel good inside. Yeah, so it most definitely. Yeah. I used to work uh, at two different nonprofits uh, here in the city of Las Vegas, so I like okay. actually helping people. So if that's being a motivational speaker, if that's you know doing some good and, and just counting it. I don't know everything, but I think I do have, I've been blessed with a nice perspective on life. And if I can assist people on getting where they want to get, uh, I think that would be awesome. Uh, so, you know, I think being a family man really inspires me within the next 20 years. Uh, being there for my friends, uh, my sister, and uh, just playing my part in this whole thing right. called life. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the girls you've met so far, they're just not compatible. I wouldn't say like, that. I've, not... I've met uh, some great women. Uh, I've definitely met women that are uh, like you can't not the right one for kids and uh, but I mean create you know, right um, you know I, my college sweetheart is an awesome uh, woman however I moved to Las Vegas so the long distance ended up you yeah. know breaking us up and then I had a uh, prior relationship uh, to that where we were just in two different points of our lives so I wouldn't say that the women weren't compatible it just wasn't the right time you want to harmony and like match.com you know what I'm not on there anymore you know oh. I, I, I've actually resorted to online dating. so at some point you're going to be in physically in a bar and yeah. find a girl and you're going to talk to her yeah you know well, you won't be in a bar but you'll be there in a coffee shop it, it'll be somewhere oh, wait you're coming I don't drink coffee, uh, it's just straight water and Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, just at the gym, <laughs> at the gym, being perfect. And then, yeah. like, <laughs> no, it's all good. So, yeah, I, I tried the online dating thing, but it didn't work for me. Yeah. But I know it works because one of my best friends, I was in his wedding. Like, I was in the Match.com wedding. So, it actually works. It just didn't work for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you gotta try dating a nice blog or something. Uh -huh. um, so I saw you brought out a, a, a bag. Yes. Is there a gift in there for me? There might be a gift in there uh, for you. I could be wrong. It could be a game or something, but is there something in there that we need to know about? Yes. Um, 
Yeah, I, I've been doing it so long. There's, there's a little gift, uh, and this That's is for you. This is from uh, Layout yeah, Clothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in your yeah, so Layout, um, which stands for Live at Your Own Pace, oh, that's, this is your clothing company. that is the clothing yeah. company, uh, which is also the same message with Worth the Weight Guy. Uh, oh, the turtle, because he's got to just keep it slow, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Great. <laughs> It's definitely a, a lifestyle message that's relatable to everyone. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, that, okay. And I got it. I got it like. Two oh yeah, right at the end. Okay, that's good. Uh, wow. <coughs> Wonder if I saw that subconsciously. But anyway, okay. Um, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, do we have one for the audience too. Uh, yes, we actually have another one. Uh, you know, start living. That guy. Then you know, start living. Uh, so I think you know. Definitely some people out there that probably throw it after him, rip it after him, everything. Good time, I guess. That was actually. That's the saddest, like when the kid at the baseball game. I don't know, like the old guys, like I got it, I'll take this for myself. Yeah. That was awesome. Alright, well, looks like we're at the end of our time, but everybody can check you out at uh, Worth the Way Guy on Twitter. And also, you've got the same domain, www.worththewayguy.com, right? Yes, sir. Yes, anyway, sir. Thank you for coming and talking to us for a little thank bit. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Give me a round of applause, everybody. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Sure. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's really cool. I like the shirt, too. Oh, it's a good vibe. I, I